Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Phil from Practical Media 101. In today's video, I wanted to outline some reasons why Rank Math is a better alternative to Yoast SEO in 2023. If you don't know, Rank Math and Yoast SEO are both SEO optimization plugins. These are basically plugins that help you SEO optimize your posts and pages in a bit to help them rank better on the Google search algorithm. Both of these plugins are amazing in their own res respective rights, but being an avid Yoast user, having been an avid Yoast user for over three or four years now, I inevitably made the switch to Rank Math because of some of the features and functionalities that Rank Math provides that Yoast doesn't. And within this video, I wanted to dissect all of these features and I wanted to outline some of the performance based uh, benefits and some of the other benefits as well that you would get once you make that transition to rank math and i also wanted to outline the method through which you can basically import data from yoast seo to rank math when you are making that transition so i'm going to be helping you basically understand why rank math is better alternative to yoast seo and along with that i'm also going to be helping you make the transition from yoast seo to rank math as smooth as possible so trust me when i tell you if you stay stick until the very end you will be convinced of the fact that rank path is an actual better plugin than yoast seo and you will agree with me over that fact so stick until us with the very end and without further ado let's get started dissecting the features of why rank path is better than yoast seo So here we are inside the second part of today's video and I wanted to basically uh, run you guys through this blog post that the Kinsta website made. Kinsta is actually a web hosting provider and they actually created a comparison post comparing the various features of Rank Math and Yoast SEO. So I wanted to base this uh, video over a blog post that uh, uh, that pretty much looks like this and pretty much gives you a very good idea of why these two plugins differ from each other very much and why or which one of these actually is a better alternative to the other. So this is actually a comparison post by Kinsta. You can go check them out. I will actually leave this link in the description section. You'll be able to check that out for yourself. And this is a wonderful article which uh, teaches you about the differences between Rank Math and Yoast SEO. So the title says Rank Math versus Yoast SEO. So it's a comparison post basically. And I read this and uh, I, it seemed pretty, pretty legit to me. So if you want to check that out, uh, this is actually a very good overview of why these plugins differ and which one of these is actually a better alternative to the other in 2023. So let me just base my videos uh, on this particular blog post right here. And let me discuss one by one the thing that they have written down. Uh, are they actually correct or not? And uh, uh, yeah, so let me just go ahead and do that. So the first thing that they talk about when it's concerned to these respective plugins is that they actually dissect the free features of both of these plugins. So by free, the Rank Math plugins provides you with a set of SEO meta descriptions and titles, social media descriptions, focus keyword analysis, um, XML sitemaps and all these things. Okay, so you can see all that. So by default, Yoast SEO actually provides you all these features like uh, uh, the same SEO site titles, XML sitemap, focus keyword analysis, site wide schema. All these things are provided by Yoast SEO in their free version. Now you'll be able to see when you see both of these plugins that Rank Math comparatively has a little more things in their free version that it provides that Yoast SEO doesn't. And namely these will be the local SEO knowledge graph, the image SEO, internal link suggestions, and it will. And these are the two things that I think uh, are. They, they, they take the cream of the crop when it comes to um, the free features that Yoast SEO doesn't provide. And these are actually two fundamental features that we shouldn't be overlooking under any circumstance. These are the redirection feature and the 404 monitor. Let me just go ahead and let me show you exactly what these two looks like. So I have, uh, I right here have the, this is actually one of the websites that I'm working on. This is actually a blog website. And uh, I just wanted to, basically come here and basically show you the rank math dashboard to basically help you understand exactly how this works so here's the rank math feature here's the rank math option let me just go here and let me go to the redirections manager right this is basically the redirections manager what do you mean by the redirections manager the redirections manager is basically a page which helps you redirect links from a particular page to a different page so imagine you have this page and there is a 404 error on that page okay so i will just go there and what i will do i will just copy the link of this 
website. So this is the website that I'm working on. And I will just put a random string of words and I'll press on enter. So as you can see, uh, yeah, because this is just a random string of the words and uh, this link actually does not mean anything. It's redirected into a 404 page because this link actually there's no page that is associated with this link. But what I can do if there is uh, by by some kind of SEO error, if search based traffic is going into this link, what I can do, I just I just can come into the redirections manager, put this as the source URL. This as the source URL. I'll just copy this from here. And what I will do, I will just add this as a source URL and I can point it to a different destination URL within my website. So I'm just going to redirect this into my home page and add the redirections. Then when I come here and I reload it, it's redirected automatically to my home page. So that is basically how the redirections manager work. Why is this important? Basically it helps you, uh, basically it helps you uh, like get rid of technical SEO errors. Whenever a 404 page or anything like that comes up, it basically is detrimental to your technical SEO and it would affect your search based performance. So redirections manager is important. And the reason why I highlighted redirections manager as a feature is because redirections manager is not provided by Yoast SEO within its free version. You would have to purchase the premium version in order to get the redirections manager feature. You don't have to do that with rank math. It provides you the redirections feature for free. On top of that, another great SEO feature that uh, rank math free version provides you that Yoast SEO doesn't is the 404 monitor. 404 monitor, as you can see, yeah, this is the link that we went to just a few minutes ago and it got it already. So, so, so you'd, you'd be able to see how powerful this is. We went into a 404 error on this particular URL and it already showed that th there was a 404 monitor associated with this. So you might basically get the gist of what this is. This basically are all these pages that are linked to our URL that are getting 404 pages but are getting some kind of traffic. Like this could be bot traffic, this could be search based traffic, but whatever traffic this might be, what we need to do is that we need to redirect this into a suitable alternative within our website. We don't want users, we don't want visitors or bots going into 404 pages because if a good number of visitors actually go to a 404 page, they're actually going to bounce off the page. And if a good number of bots go into a 404 page, they're actually going to not index that page and they are going to be discouraged of indexing that page. And in the end, what would happen is that your site search performance would go down. So we want to avoid that. So 404 monitor is a very good tool that helps us monitor all these 404 errors. And using the redirections manager, we can basically redirect all of these 404s to a suitable alternative within our page so that we can not get this 404 error in the future. These are two features that I wanted to introduce you to right off the bat that uh, Rank Math provides that Yoast SEO doesn't. Now let's look at some other features. So the second feature that I did needed to highlight that makes Rank Math a better alternative to Yoast SEO is its capabilities when it comes to schema markup generators. Schema markup is basically a type of code that basically um, personalizes your post and it makes it a little bit better for search engines to understand what the post is about. So you might have come across many search results when you are scrolling across Google. You might have come across search results where uh, there might be some kind of product and there might be a star rating attached to it and you are able to see it on the Google search results and uh, that basically star rating it basically is a review schema that is attached to the post and it helps Google understand better that uh, that particular post or that particular page is it's about a product so it, what ends up happening is that in terms of uh, in terms of pages with that kind of review schema uh, those pages tend to do a little bit better than pages that don't have any review schema so rank math by default uh, and within their pro version, it allows you the feature to generate schema and add it to your pages. And the extent of the amount of schemas that they provide you is very distinct. You are not simply, uh, you're not simply isolated to a simple review schema or a product scheme or anything like that. You have multiple other options. So what we can do, I, I basically 
came here and navigated to a post section this is a page that i've been this is a post that i've been preparing for this website right here it's a review about a hosting company called hostinger and uh, i basically wanted to create this post i wanted to outline some features about hostinger and why it's actually the best cheapest web hosting provider in 2023 and uh, something that would help this article do a little bit better would be to add a product schema into this post and uh, this process is actually made very easier with the uh, with the rank math plugin so the o the only thing that i need to do i need to come into the edit section of this post as i am here right now and i need to come here and click on this little button right here this is actually the rank math uh, this is actually the rank math dashboard and this is how the rank math plugin looks like when you are editing a page editing a page or a post from inside of the content editor so here i am here i can see all these things here these are all the criteria that i am supposed to alter in order to make it um, um seo optimize this post i can add a target keyword if i wish to so the target keyword would be hostinger review this is the target keyword this is the focus keyword i'm sorry so yeah if i basically want to add review schema to this what i need to do is that i need to come here and click on this button right here and from inside of here i can click on the schema generator button and this would show me all of these amazing schemas that i can add into this particular post right here there is a job posting schema the fact check schema the event schema all of these amazing powerful tools that you can create or use for a variety of purposes across board now one uh, the, the the extent of the schema generator's capabilities does not extend does not does not end here rank math also provides you with multiple other features to create your own schema and import schema from different websites into your own website so for example these are all the schema templates that are available by default if you don't want to use them if you want to use if you if you come across a website that has a particular type of schema that you really like what you can do is that you can basically import that schema from that website into your own website that's an option that rank math provides you that literally no other plugin in the market provides you with another feature is that it provides you with so many different types of schemas to choose from all these features like uh, yoast has uh, about five or six schema uh, templates but uh, rank math by default has around 20 so that's another amazing feature and you can create custom schema as well you can come inside of here and you can validate this code with json you can create you can save it as a template and stuff and uh, also let me show you exactly how the import feature works so basically you can drop down you can select that uh, the schema generated would be from a url or page and basically uh, this is a post here from wp beginner about the hostinger review let me just come in here and let me just paste this link here and click on import and after that i will be able to see that all these different schemas were found within the page so i can import them into this particular page right here and it would work like a charm so i can come here and i can basically click on use and i can see all these details here within the schema section and i can save this for a post now if i come here and if i preview this on the front end okay so it hasn't been changed yet but as i can see the schema has been added and if i test it within google i will be able to see that it's completely working it may it would take a little bit time but it actually works most of the time i add schema using this method only and uh, we can you can make an, make a little bit alteration to this depending on your website like in change the author name and stuff and you can change the website name the organization name and all that stuff so that's all uh, present So that was another feature that uh, Rank Math provides that literally no other plugin within the market actually provides. Now let's look at some other features that Rank Math provides you with. Yet another noteworthy feature that is available for Rank Math users is the analytics feature. Rank Math seamlessly integrates with Google Alg Analytics and Google Search Console to give you an overview of your site analytics within the Rank Math's intuitive dashboard. So from inside of here you can basically uh, track your best performing posts, your best performing keywords and the index status of most of your pages. It actually reflects the pages that not been indexed on Google. Now this is actually an amazing feature that gives you overview into the kind of things that you are doing well with your website. So it gives you a deep dive it gives you the information about your SEO search performance and all those details and you can basically make use of this data to better optimize your post within the future. The only con that I would say the only the only problem with this kind of 
this um, feature would be that the data that it reflects it's not actually up to date so you would be able to see much more real time information when you are checking out the google analytics dashboard and the google search console but uh, even though that is the case i think this is a very pretty handy feature that rank math provides you with which other plugins do not so let's check the other features now So one of the features that Rank Math provides, which I believe I should have covered earlier within the video, it's actually uh, the way through which the Rank Math plugin has been structured. It follows a very unconventional way uh, within which it actually provides you with actually a modular framework within which you can enable and disable the features that you wish to use. So by uh, when you when you first uh, install and activate rank math you do not get all the features uh, you do not get to use all the features but you have actually have to manually enable them from this um, wizard right here this this dashboard right here you have to enable it only after that you will be able to use the options so as you can see all these th features like the redirections menu the schema menu all these stuff you have to first enable this and only after that you will be able to start using it by default it's disabled and the reason why rank math is actually structured in this way i will i will get into detail about that in the later part of this video but it's basically about performance so that uh, because by default if all these features were enabled rank math would be a very heavy plugin uh, so rank method actually takes this approach so that it's a little more lighter on the wordpress resources so yeah so one thing that i uh, the, so the next feature that i wanted to actually discuss it's actually about google web stories now google web stories are uh, one of the most uh, like uh, the, a popular way in order to get traffic into uh, your websites within 2023 and google web stories it has a direct web integration with the rank math plugin it actually rank math plugin actually makes it very easy for you to uh, get google web stories indexed and get better better performance with your google web stories basically what it does is that it uh, helps you integrate google web stories within the google within within your website search index within within its sitemap so it basically uh, like is it becomes a part of your website in a way that uh, it is it helps you bring more search traffic through it now by default when you enable this option what would happen is that first of all what would happen is that within the sitemap settings if you go you will find this option which is not there by default if you go inside of there you will be able to see that it's included within the sitemap the google web stories are included within the sitemap and included within the html sitemap so that's another amazing feature that uh, this um, plugin provides you with which no other plugin provides so integration with google web stories the next feature that i wish to talk about is the instant indexing feature which rank math provides you with instant indexing is actually a feature through which you can get your post indexed as soon as they have been published now in theory most of the time this method does not work but the the way through which rank math provides you this option i have personally noticed that my post get indexed faster when i actually submit it for instant indexing and by default only the instant indexing is available for the bin search engine but what you can do you can install and activate the google instant indexing plugin which is available as a third party plugin and what it would do is that it would directly integrate with rank math and it would provide you the option to add a google search api and uh, it would basically help you like get instant indexing within google as well so this actually most of the time it works and uh, for some web websites it might not work but uh, if you want to learn how to set this up you can uh, uh, you can actually basically comment down in the comment section and i'll basically be creating a video about this as well Another feature that I would like to highlight is the image SEO feature. Image SEO is a feature which basically allows you to automatically add alt tags to your images that do not have alt tags. Now alt tags as you might know they are a fundamental part of SEO and without alt tags it's actually considered to be detrimental to your SEO. So Rank Math basically provides you the option to add automatic alt tags to your images based on the title of your post. So imagine if you have a post with a specific title and uh, you want to optimize your keywords uh, and you want to add all text to your images based on that title what would happen is that if you enable one of these options here you can add the missing title text to images and the missing uh, all text to the images based on some predefined notions now predefined notions uh, for example you can add the title of the same post within which the images are used in or as the all text for the image 
Now that is one example and there are also multiple other examples that you can use multiple other methods that you can use in order to add alt tags automatically to your images. This is yet another powerful feature that Rank Math provides you with. Now let's look, let's look at some other small features that Rank Math provides. So in order to cover the next feature that we are going to be covering, I needed to come back into the post section of my WordPress account. So here I am and from inside of here, I'll be able to show exactly what this feature is and how this works. But uh, the only problem is that I cannot show the full extent of this feature's capabilities since this feature actually runs on a credit based system and I don't have any credits left. So I might not be able to show you exactly how this works, but I can basically explain and uh, give you a rough idea of what this is. So the feature that we are going to be discussing next is called the rank map content AI. The content AI is basically a tool which studies the search results for a particular target keyword and it and it searches the first 10 or 20 posts that appear to rank for that for the for those for that target keyword it basically studies them and it creates a compositional map including the heading count the media count the link count and the number of words that are used on average for all of these posts and it basically shows you that compositional map and the idea is to create your content as closely related to that co compositional map and in theory if you do that you are supposed to rank higher and uh, you are supposed to be getting more traffic from google so in theory that is what the content AI is and many people have come forward uh, reviewing the content AI and they say that it's actually a legitimate thing and the content AI is actually it's uh, based on another popular tool that uh, uh, helps SEO optimize your post like this it's called the surfer SEO it basically follows the same principle it reviews a particular target keyword search results and it gives you an aggregate and average amount of the word count the heading count the media count and the link count that those posts use and in theory if you uh, if you like create your content based on that compositional map you're supposed to rank for it so that's basically what the content ai is in order to get access to the content ai first of all you have to enable it with the rank mat within the rank mat dashboard section so you have to enable this from right here let me show you exactly where that might be mm, just one minute yeah, here's the content AI. Once you enable it, you will come back to your post. You'll be able to see this particular button right here. Once you click that, this is actually the Rank Math Content AI dashboard. Now you can put whatever keyword that you wish inside of here. It will analyze the search results for it and give you the compositional map. But by default, always uh, the focus keyword should be here. And I will just click on the research button. And as you can see, I don't have any credits left, but it's showing you a rough idea of what the dashboard looks like. Now let me cover step by step some other small features that Rank Math SEO plugin provides you with. Now the first feature that I would like to cover is actually the AMP feature. Actually what it does is that it gives you support for the accelerated mobile pages option that Google provides you with and it is another way for you to help include the help help improve the performance and uh, the SEO capabilities of your website. Now what you have to do is in order to enable this AMP is that you can simply enable this from here and you have to install the Google recommended AMP plugin inside of here and this would give you a direct integration with the rank math plugin in the sense that the the, the plugins that the, the, the alternative page that is created with AMP, it will have proper canonical tags and it will have a proper SEO optimization level automatically added to it with the meta tags and all. Uh, the next feature that I would like to cover is actually the local SEO map. So local SEO, as you might know for local businesses, local SEO is very important and rank math from the get-go it actually provides you with the option to do local seo and this is actually part of their free version you don't even have to upgrade to the professional version in order to use it the next feature is actually news site map if you are a news based agency and if you want to put out latest articles the news news site map is very important because what it does is that your news based articles are included within your website site map and it is very helpful in order to increase the seo search performance of your news based articles then there is the podcast feature again if you're a podcasting service you basically would get a little more leverage when you're using this feature and uh, the last but not least it's actually the woocommerce feature if you're actually running an e-commerce business you would want to optimize your products with the woocommerce schema with the product schema and you'd want to get a little more 
uh, you would want to make the message clear to Google that you're actually an e-commerce business and you're promoting products so that they can give you the search based leverage leverage that you need for your specific products. So that's another feature that rank math provides you with. This is also available within the rank math free version. You don't need to upgrade your you don't need to upgrade your um, rank math account by any means in order to use this feature. And trust me when I tell you these are all the amazing features that rank math provides you with. Now one part of rank math that I needed to provide you that I needed to share information with you about is the performance capabilities that rank math provides you with. Earlier on I discussed that the modular framework of rank math is actually designed in the way that it is in order to give you an edge over Yoast SEO or any other SEO plugin when it comes to performance. Now let me just uh, share this on the next part of the video exactly how much difference there is within the performance of Rank Math with a website that uses Rank Math as compared to a website that uses Yoast SEO. So let's go ahead and check that. So in order to understand which one of these was a better plugin from a performance standpoint, I decided to conduct a little experiment. This experiment comprised of me creating two websites which were hosted on the same web server, had the same version of WordPress installed and also had Yoast SEO and Rank Math installed on them respectively. Then what I did was that I conducted a page speed test on both of them using the Pingdom website speed test plugin. Here are the findings that I got. So essentially I created a table in order to list the findings. So from the findings I could make out that uh, Rank Math loaded half of the time that Yoast SEO took in order to load completely. And the average page size of the website that had Rank Math installed was around 900, 987 KB. While the average page size of the website which had Yoast SEO uh, installed was around 1.2 MB. The request weight per page were around 45 and 62 each for Rank Math and Yoast SEO respectively. These were the findings that I got and uh, these findings make it clear that Rank Math in terms of performance standpoint is the much better performing plugin and if you want a more faster website then uh, the obvious choice is for you to install and activate Rank Math. Now within the next section of this video, I wanted to highlight a simple method through which you can easily migrate from Yoast SEO to Rank Math if you previously have been using Yoast SEO and all your SEO data is saved in Yoast SEO. So let's go ahead and look at that. Now here we are inside of a test website that is created to teach you guys exactly how to migrate from Yoast SEO to Rank Math. I have this website right here and I have this little post within this website which has been optimized for SEO with the Yoast SEO plugin. The title of the post says best keto diet recipes and the focus keyword of the post is the same title of the post. It's basically best keto diet recipes. In 2023 that's the focus keyword of this post so essentially what i need to do is that i need to import all of these data that i have stored within the yoast seo plugin to rank math let me show you exactly how i can do that so first we will need to head on into the rank math website i will be leaving a link below in the description for the rank math website you can go ahead and come here it's actually going to be an affiliate link so if you would uh, download rank math from that link it will be completely free for you but it will be helpful for me as i would get a very small commission as a referral for referring you to their website so once you are inside the rank math official website you must come here and click on the download for free button and from here you need to click on the download button on the right hand side and you'll be redirected into this thank you page and your rank math plugin would start downloading now what you need to do, you, you need to head back to your WordPress installation, click on add new. I need to click on upload plugin and choose a file. Now choose the rank math plugin and install. Once the plugin has been installed, you'll click on activate plugin. And this would redirect you into the setup wizard of rank math. Now you need to click on connect your account. And you need to connect your free Google account to Rank Math. Once that's been done, you will authenticate the free plan. And then you need to be selecting the advanced option from here. Click on start visit. And then here is the option from where you will import the option to import data from Yoast SEO to Rank Math. So you basically need to select Yoast SEO from the drop down here and click on start import. 
you need to put in all the details here related to your website. If you have already filled out these details in Yoast SEO, then all the details here will be filled up already and you won't need to do alter them by any means. Click on save and continue. You can now connect Google services onto this website if you wish to. If you already connected this inside of Yoast SEO, then it will be connected by default. Let me go ahead and skip this step. I'll skip this as well because this is the uh, optimization feature and the uh, sitemap settings. And because this is a test website, I don't actually need to set any of these up. But if you're actually wanting to set these features up, you don't need to do anything else. You just need to click on save and continue and keep all the default options that have been selected and it would work like charm. Let me just go ahead and click on save and continue as well. And once that's been done, I will just enable the auto updates of the plugin and return to dashboard. Once that's been done, what I need to do is that I, I will be shown this little prompt here uh, telling me that more than two, more than one SEO plugins are active within my website and it may create some problems for my website. So what I will do, I will just click on click here to deactivate. This would be redirecting me back to the uh, back to my plugin settings and uh, the Yoast SEO plugin will be deactivated. Now I can simply go ahead and click on delete plugin and click on OK. And uh, what would happen is that all the data that I saved within Yoast SEO previously has been imported into Rank Math seamlessly. So this was my video on exactly why Rank Math is the better alternative to Yoast SEO in 2023. If you like this video and if you thought that it was helpful, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notifications and give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. I will be creating more content related to SEO and digital marketing in the future. So if you tune in, I would be greatly appreciative of this fact. Thank you so much for sticking until the very end. May God bless you. Bye.